Uh, so it's myself, George, um, our daughter, Gabriella, and my mother just moved in with us. So the four of us and our son frequently visits from Tampa. And we have two dogs, <laughs> our own dog and my mom's. We have a Frenchie and a Picolini. So we came from DeBarry, so not too far away. <laughs> And it was really you, right? <laughs> I kept coming up here and I was like, fuck, there's something going on over in this area here on the other side of 95. I want to go check it out. And I just kept driving in and out of here. And I'm like, you know, when you come in through the tennis courts and you have that straight away and then you get to here and then the amenity center just was like lit up. It was so beautiful. The waterfalls, the water features. It was like, wow, I feel like I'm on vacation coming here every day feels like I'm on vacation and our other house was in a older community it was a beautiful house but an older community so there was older people and this just really appealed to us and our son had moved out not too long ago our daughter was graduating high school or she had just graduated high school so we kind of felt like it was a good time to downsize and you know add something different to our life Well, Caroline is unbelievable. Yeah, she's amazing. She's she's the amenity center. <laughs> so from there, I happened to look, and there was a beautiful gym. Uh, I was I looked in there. I was like, "Wow, this gym is everything that I would need." Because I'm a, like to go to the gym a lot, trying to keep in shape. And then I looked over at the pools, and there's two pools, and there's like an adult pool also. And our kids are older now, so we really didn't have to worry about the, the youngins, you know, running around on us. The pool is beautiful. The view over by uh, the dock area uh, is unbelievable. And an, another beautiful water feature that found is that was pretty much like the deciding factor of like, I mean, I, we really do feel like every day we wake up and look outside, we're on vacation. Yeah, then right outside of our slider, we have the view of the fountain. It's just spectacular every day. But I started doing the yoga that Adrian started, and I really like that. Um, my mom does the exercise classes at Donna, so there's just like something for everyone. I like the Pepalooza. I mean, we're in it with DAX, but it's also a fun, you know, I like that event. Oh, they're, they're always, something's always going on here. And that, you know, it just keeps the community together. I'm going to get out there and meet new faces. Uh, the people here are, are, are great. We love, you know, making new friends and meeting people. And uh, it truly is, like I said before, it's, it's a fun place. We did a Rock the Block last year. Uh, once a month we come out and, and demo our sauces along with everything else Carol Caroline had set up out there so it really was great lots of people lots of like stags <laughs> yeah hey, Kringer. so I'm chef George a local veteran-owned company uh, I didn't Culinary, uh, I was in the military uh, back in the uh, 80s. Uh, cooked for the captain and foreign dignitaries and colonels. And when I got out, I went into culinary school. From there, I worked into in New York City at, at the best restaurant in the country. So I got really good professional skills there. And later, I uh, met my wife in Jersey. And uh, I had was a chef there. And then we just followed the sun and we used to come to Disney on vacation when the kids were little. Like, there's got to be a way that we can live here. And, you know, she has a big family. I have a big family, but somehow we made it here 20 years ago. And uh, we just followed Disney. And when we got here, I worked at the Grand Floridian at Victorian Alberts. And then I said, okay, I'm done with the foo foo food. I went into corporate food services for a dozen years. And at the same time, uh, it was a hobby making sauces, giving them out to friends and family. And that's when our first two sauces came out, our mildly spiced and our honey ghost pepper. And uh, we started that, um, giving it to friends and family as, you know, hobby samples. And they're like, George, 
you got to follow this stuff. I was like, really? How do we do that? <laughs> then, then one day led to another. I was like, I'm going to make a sauce for Florida. I want Florida to have our own sauce. It's got to have mango, guava, and key lime. And you have to feel like you're on the island when you're eating it. Enjoy your margarita and you're happy. Uh, our last sauce that just came out was our three mustard tear sauce. Three different mustards in there, a little bit of the sunshine. I put a little bit of orange in there, some nutmeg and clove, sort of like a Carolina, but my own stain on it. And then right now we're in the process of coming out with a uh, marinade uh, slash sauce slash dressing. It's, it's really unbelievable. It's going to be uh, keto friendly, no sugar added. And it's going to be uh, also diabetics can have it and you can use it as a marinade, as a sauce, or if you want to put it right on the salad, it's a balsamic marinade. We're excited to have that come out. There's definitely a lot of interest from everybody. Thanks to everybody. Uh, we are starting to really expand uh, DAX to the state of Florida. And we very much appreciate that. So we fell in love with all of the houses, especially this one we're in right now, the Arden. Um, oh, by far. But we all feel, you know, like the, the Adley Homes end. But when we sold one house in Florida, we made the mistake of like buying the new house first and then selling it. And that just was a mistake. So we said, we're not going to do that. And we just kept waiting, waiting, waiting until we got a contract to, you know, for the sale of our house. And then we said, we'll just kind of see what's left. And we hoped that it was going to be on this lake because that's really, we wanted to be by the amenity center on this lake. And the spec home that was available in that time frame with a one month closing was the Adley home. I love it. And so there's so much to do in the Daytona area. You're by Orman, you're by Flagler, by Port Orange. And DeBarry is a great place to raise our two children. Um, a small town, but there's not a lot of excitement there. <laughs> so it's a great town, but Daytona is fun. We like it. There's always something going on. That's really, um, the restaurants are great. And the beach is right there and I have a Jeep. You yep. drive right on the beach and just have a great time. I love the ocean. I like to body surf. Um, got to wear as much as I can be. And, uh, the location, location, location. That was it. When I went through coming off, off of LPGA Boulevard on this road here. And it was just unbelievable. Like, well, how did this happen? Like, where did this place just come from? <laughs> I was telling my wife, you got to see this place. Well, we, you gotta come we actually here, started by looking at latitudes. <laughs> yeah. It was during COVID and we were just like, let's get out of the house. And we went to visit latitude and then on the way home is where we saw this and then one thing led to another yeah i didn't really have a good feeling about that, that area. we just realized that wasn't for us <laughs> but this was definitely um definitely the place where definitely uh we love it here and uh maybe this is our last home here <laughs> yeah we wanted to downsize and get our budget retirement friendly <laughs> I'll be retiring in a few years, hopefully, with AT&T, and we'll see the business keeps going, doing well. But we wanted, we didn't want the expense of a very large house anymore. I like just that I'm able to hop out of my house, get to the gym if I want, take a yoga class, um, go to the pool. It's easy with my mom living here that she's got a network of friends of her own like I, that wouldn't have been you know she would have been all by herself if she was in the other house so for me it's about just the mobility and the location and just all these different things going on so it, it's never boring that's what and 95 is right there so I, i'm actually located bags is located throughout the whole state of florida so i'll just jump on 95 come off and then like i said coming down that road you're like in another another area that's just peaceful it's relaxing for me definitely get to unwind and just sitting out in front of that lake with the cold one <laughs> i love the pool too and then uh pool. yeah so we definitely like that we're we're close enough to to hear and see everything that happens over here 
Africa now. We like being close to the clubhouse.